coming to you from sunny San Diego. Yeah, well, we're going to be doing some solar in a couple of weeks, but uh, today I'm going to be talking about batteries. Uh, that's one of the first things that people want to know about when you're talking about electric cars or EVs. Yeah, they want to know how far the battery is going to go, how long is it going to last, do I have to replace it, if I sew, is it expensive? Anyway, it's all questions about batteries and that's pretty much it. Because when you think about it, the battery is the main uh, technology in those electric cars. The electric motors have been around forever and they're very trouble free. So the car is really very simple, but uh, most of the technology is in the batteries. Before we get into the electric cars right now, uh, talk about some of the batteries that we had before. Uh, for example, <laughs> this little battery, it's a rechargeable, but it's a nickel NIMN. So these uh, are 1.2 volt batteries and they replace alkaline. So you can use them in radios or little transistor devices and that kind of stuff. So they work fine. You can recharge them several hundred times. So uh, yeah, instead of throwing all your alkaline batteries away, you can use these and that works fine. It turns out that uh, Toyota Priuses have been using this type of battery for a long time. Yeah, but their battery packs and their hybrids are uh, it's a little different because these batteries don't do well with wide charging ranges. Yeah, usually the Priuses will charge between the 40% and the 60% so that it doesn't stress the battery and it lasts longer. So anyway, probably not the best thing. The newer batteries uh, do a lot better than that. Next up is of course the uh, camera batteries, uh, which I find in my camera right here. This is a lithium ion battery. Lithium ion himself is very high density, has a lot of power to it. So this one has, uh, dang, 14 watt hours. So 0.014 kilowatt hours of capacity. So not very much, but uh, anyway, it's enough to power your devices like cameras and cell phones and stuff like that. So, speaking of cell phones, yeah, this iPhone here, I just got it. I had to replace my 6S, which got to be four years old. Um, anyway, but the battery in the 6S lasted for three years and it was still at 85% of capacity. So that's about where they say that things start to go a little funky. Uh, because if your battery gets the capacities too low, uh, then Apple starts to shut things down, whatever. So anyway, uh, they use these same lithium ion batteries as the camera does. Um, so they're really geared to have a lot of energy and a small size, uh, but they don't last as long as some of the other technologies. But anyway, uh, this lasted three years and gee, after three years, most people want to change their phone anyway, get something new and fancier. So that works well on this kind of device. This Makita battery here, this is a lithium ion also. It's again, it's a high density. Uh, this one, yeah, I don't know how many charges you can get into it because uh, I use my stuff every week. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just over eight years old and it just died. So this uh, three amp hour battery, I'm actually replacing it with a five amp hour battery. That lasts a lot longer and so it's pretty cool so anyway these are really nice but uh, they don't really last forever but uh, eight years is pretty good so anyway I'm happy with that ah, now for a bigger battery this is the battery from my e-bike this battery from my e-bike is a lithium nickel cobalt magnesium yeah that's a mouthful but what it means is it doesn't have the same energy density as a cell phone type battery but it lasts longer so yeah that's the trade-off they make this is a 48 volt, 13 amp hour battery. So quite a bit bigger than the cell phone. Uh, and it's about two and a half years old. I put over 5,000 miles on my e-bike and it still works fine. I think it's getting a little bit weaker because really all lithium ion batteries do degrade slowly with time. But uh, yeah, I can still get 50 or 60 miles out of a battery charge. So yeah, it's working pretty well. Moving on to a little bit bigger batteries. Yeah, for the RV, uh, lithium batteries are getting very popular. So they're like a car starting battery type size. They give you much higher capacity than the lead acid batteries. And they have a lot of other advantages like they can provide a lot of power to run your microwave and such. But uh, the only problem is the cost. Uh, lithium ion tends to be a little expensive. And so it's not so bad when you're talking about a cell phone. But if you're talking about a big battery, yeah, like this one here, this has lithium ion cells in it and it costs about $500 to replace it. So it's kind of expensive. So replace your RV batteries with lithium. 
Yeah, they're just under a thousand dollars a piece, so you probably need two, or maybe some people get four. So yeah, that's kind of expensive. But anyway, but once the golf cart batteries in my RV dies, then I'll probably get the lithium batteries because I think they'll be a little bit better. But uh, I'm waiting for the cost to come down first. Now. Moving on to electric vehicles or EVs. All the name brand cars now uh, uh, warranty their batteries for eight years or 100,000 miles. Uh, the Chevy Bolt uses a, a nickel rich lithium ion battery in, in theirs. Uh, and they're working on a new battery that they say is gonna give us over 400 miles of range on it. So uh, yet's they have to come yet. So it might be like next year before we see that or maybe even further. Now this, the Nissan Leaf also uses a pretty big battery pack. That's either 40 kilowatt hours or 62 for the bigger one. Nissan uses NMC type lithium battery. And they warranty that also for eight years or 100,000 miles. So you can go, oh, I think a couple hundred miles on those. So the batteries are getting better in electric vehicles. The only problem right now is the cost. And of course, the uh, Tesla has the best batteries on the market right now. They've done the most research, the most testing, whatever. So their batteries pack for the long range vehicle is like 75 kilowatt hours versus the uh, LEAF is a 40 or a 62. And I don't know what the Bolt is, but it's probably gonna be around that 50 or 60 uh, also. Uh, but anyway, uh, Tesla uses a little bit of different, uh, it's like kind of a proprietary type formulation. So they formulate their batteries to be durable and long lasting. So uh, it doesn't have the same energy per weight as a cell phone battery, of course, but then again, they don't burn up. So. The EVs have to use a safer type chemistry. So right now on the Model Y that I have on order, it's, uh, the EPA says it'll go 315 miles on a charge. And with these lithium batteries, you can go from, uh, you know, from zero to 100% charge and use that. Uh, but to get the best life out of your battery, yeah, you wanna use it a little bit more in the middle. So Tesla recommends that you only charge it to 80% level, unless you're going on a trip or something, which is fine for me because I just drive around town most of the cases. If I'm going to go on a long trip, I'm going to take the RV. Live, in the city. The batteries in these Teslas, yeah, they're designed to last for 500,000 miles, and maybe they drop down to 80% of capacity. But it's a really slow degradation, so over the years, you might notice you get a little bit less range, but still 80% is pretty good. Uh, 500,000 miles, wow. I don't think I'd ever be able to drive that far in it. But anyway, yeah, this battery technology keeps getting better and less expensive uh, the more they work on it. So yeah, I would say these EVs are gonna be taking off in a few years. You're gonna see a lot more on the road and they're gonna be a lot uh, less expensive. Some people have estimated that the cost of the batteries comes down so that in about another year or two, it'll be about the same price as the gasoline engine. So then it'll be a wash and then, okay, you can pick. You want the gasoline engine or the EV? You know, in my case, uh, this Honda Civic that we just got from my wife, that's probably our last gasoline powered car we're gonna buy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the no maintenance and the other advantages of the electric car. If you have any comments on battery technology, because it is changing all the time, uh, leave them in the comments below. And otherwise, this is Grandma Ron and I'll